Okay, hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Trace People's Tips. Today we have a fridge freezer that we're about to remove. All right, now if I open the door, I'm gonna first go for the blatantly obvious. Now we've got two screws there, we've got two screws there, we've got two there, and two there, okay? If I look along the back of the fridge, let me try and get it from down the bottom there somewhere, somehow. If I look along the back there, this slider bar, it doesn't go all the way back. It just goes, let me keep turning. There you go. You can see it just goes not even a quarter of the way. So we're going to start by taking these off and see where we progress from there. We also have some screws up there, which looks like it secures it to the top and screws that secures it to the body of the fridge but those ones over there look like they also hold the hinge for the fridge and then those up there those are the cupboard door ones and as we come down <clears throat> we have another one just there and a row of screws that goes across the front and another bracket that secures it there and if we go down to the bottom, we have another row of screws. So we're gonna do, like I said, we're gonna start with the blatantly obvious. We're gonna take these four at two, four, six, eight, sorry, and see where we go from there. So we come and get our drill. And we start off just here. pick that up in a minute all right so if we take those out there's the bracket as I was saying okay we've got the bottom ones off now we go for the top one let's get my screwdriver again Okay, that's one. Two. And if we take that one out, we should be able to just close our door. And there you are. Now, I wouldn't advise you to go drilling holes in your fridge unless you know what you're doing. But as for the door, I'm not sure. But I know if you punch her anywhere in there, it does affect the fridge. Yeah, so we're going to take these other two out now. So allow us. We may take the hinge off. No, we've got space there. But what we're looking at is this bit here. We'll stop the fridge. But if we can move it across, you can see there is movement there. If not, we'll take the door off first. I think it'll be easier. Than taking the inches because we can see we can't get access at these inches down here behind it and this is your obstruction not here so if you take that off you still have your obstruction all right so let's get this off and then we'll take it to the next step okay we've done those and our door is free now like i said i'm going to do the blatantly obvious first which that looks like is secure the fridge at the top so i'm gonna go for those all right now i've got those i'm gonna do these two If you're working like I'm working, be careful when things drop, you don't step on it because this could injure your feet. As you may have well figured out, there is my screws. I'm showing them, I might as well pick them up in it. 
That's one. So where's the rest of them? This is what I'm talking about. Don't tread on them. Anyway, we'll put that one uh, with that one. So that's two. This one here, if we were trying to move our bar, it's held on by those two. So what I'm going to do is take those two out and then see if the door lifts off. If the door lifts off, I'll probably leave it until after I've removed the fridge from where it is. Okay? I need two hands to do this, so I'll see you in a minute. Okay, we've got, we've taken our inches off and as you need to be careful when you're doing this if you're doing it on your own because your door will come away like that in fact if you keep going taking out both screws your door will just fall off this is the hinge that was on there yeah it was that way around wasn't it so you can hold the door and the spacer between it so this is what you have the bolts on like that and that is located through the top of your door just like that now while i'm here i might as well show you that you see you've got that there for your door you also have another one on the opposite side now how a fridge door opens that way if we were in a situation where we wanted our fridge door to open the opposite way then these would be located on the opposite side which is why you have this side and that side. Anyway, let me just stop trying to treat you like children. The bar that was holding it together, there it is. Alright, so that was bolted up there, just like that. Through there, through there, through there, through there, through there. Okay, so we get that out of the way. And we found the rest of our screw. They were stuck between here. Alright, so the next move is to take this cover off. And then these, I think the cover off the best. Mind you, we have to get it off in order to get the screws behind it. So, yeah, a screwdriver again. There you see, things just fall about if you let them. Okay, so that's fallen off. There it is. So uh, we've got a screw here. Come on. Two. that's off that's off we need to do this one now so does this just pop off it looks as if it does so a little white bits come off instead we're gonna get this bit off of here some way somehow give me a minute i'll have to get something behind here to prize it i can only see it pressed on the only way i can see it's fitted so i'm gonna prize it off and get back to you one minute there you go, I've managed to prise it off. What I've used is just the corner of there and just pop it off. Now you can see just on the top there, that's probably located in this hole when you close it back. And same again on the bottom. So we're going to take these two out now. And again, I'll just do it that much. And that one. Just like that and then I'll rock my door actually I should have taken these off first I think all right so we're gonna do those now I could leave those 
windows on this door, but I'm gonna have to take the whole thing off anyway. So let's just go for it while I've got it. I got my screwdriver. And same again at the bottom. Sorry, this is a bit awkward because I'm not looking through the camera. If you hear your drill slipping like no, that didn't work. I'm just trying to set it. Make sure your drill, is, your drill bit is straight. Okay, I've got those bits. I'll pick those up. One, two, three, four. Right, and our slider. And we're keeping everything nice and tidy. And where we've undone here, you can see the movement on the hinges. So if we screw that off, it may not move actually because it's still bolted to the wall. The only way this is going to move is to take the pin out. And the only way to get a pin out is just take these out just to make sure I'm not telling you rubbish. Yeah, there we go. So we can undo those two. We'll leave our door down and try and get there we go, that's off. So if we put this with our other door, just like that, then we get this one off. Where's our drill? Drill, screwdriver, drill, drill, screwdriver. Okay, I just want to show you this bit. If you're trying to undo your screw, for example, there, and you can see, it's just making a banging noise and it's not doing anything. If you look at your drill bit, the end of your screwdriver bit, you can see it looks a bit chipped up and all rounded sort of thing. So that could be the cause of your problem or you could be using the wrong size screwdriver tip. So we have another screwdriver tip here. So you just pull that one out we'll put this one in and you can see that one looks nice and fresh let me just hold it against there go out a bit see it looks nice and fresh no lumps no bumps no chips out of it so put that one in our drill and we try again Still not the right size. Hold on. Okay, we've gone for an even larger bit. Um, there it is. But do you see what happened a minute ago? If it keeps doing that, don't keep going with it. Otherwise, what it'll do, it'll round off the inside of the screw, then you definitely got problems. See, like I've got problems there now. And it's because probably I can't get it properly. So what I'll do, I'll twist that out of the way hopefully no I've got to figure out now I could just get a pliers grip it and start turning it because I'm running out of bits to try and I don't want to ruin it completely right I'll let you know how I'll get it out right how I got it out just the normal way but oh, because I was using one hand I wasn't able to apply pressure so if I put that there So what I've done, I pressed against the back of the drill here, applying the pressure like that, and then unscrew it. So now that's out of the way, we come down to our last bit, which is on the floor. And we have one screw just here. Another one just there. And another one just there. Okay, got those out. This should come away, I think. Maybe not, because this is what holds the door. That just allows you to screw it to your unit, yeah? You've got to have common when you're doing certain things. Look at things. That, as we know, is a spacer 
that goes just like that, but not for there. All right, looking for our screws on the floor so we don't step on them and pierce a hole in our feet. Put our bits there, We've got our door off, go around it. By the way, this bit came tumbling down at me, so I'm assuming it was in here. No, it wasn't, because the holes are that way. Tells me it was that way, screwing it to the top. So our screw has gone right through and into the wood. You can see just up there. All right, so what we do, put that to one side and we're gonna try and tilt our fridge. And you can see our fridge is ready to come out. All right, so this is a two man's job or is a two hand job to get it out. So I'm just gonna put all this lot away, clear up and get back to you. Okay, we're back. If I look inside here, we have blue, yellow and green, brown, black, brown, and I can see brown and brown goes together. Though one of them is screwed to the casing and blue and blue go together. This one just plugs on, that one's screwed. So that's permanent. So blue goes to blue, brown goes to brown. And our yellow and green is connected to this wire just over here. You can see a symbol there of earth. There it is, that, what that little kind of liney liney thing means. That's your earth connector. And then we have a permanent, another black wire, which is fixed to there. But those are our alien with two screws just there. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna start off by removing these two. Wrong drill bit, screwdriver bit. So we take that out, it's too large. And we get our smaller one, which we've packed away. Okay, here we go. Let's get our this one out. Same problem again. Okay, we had the same problem, not being able to apply pressure to there. This cover goes onto there just like that. I should have shown you how we got that off, but never mind. We got it off now. This bit just pulls out towards you. There you go. And so does this one. But it's clipped in just on the corner there. So what we're gonna do just get a screwdriver just between there. And just try and pop it out. There we go. It's out. Okay, so that's holding your cable in. And that's your cable. Yes, baby? Right, now we're at this stage. Let me just be able to show you a bit better. This cable goes up behind your fridge. Yeah? You can hear it? This cable is your feed from your socket. Now, I should have said from the beginning, but common sense, make sure it's plugged out or switch. Make sure it's plugged out. Forget the switch off bit, plug it out. Okay, now these are your cables going in, all right? So if we separate them from the one that's fixed in there, we can see we have our green and yellow which goes down under there and is connected to where I show you our earth strap was. So what we do, we're gonna just do these by hand. Let's change up our screwdriver bits. Right, then we get our screwdriver bit. And there's our wire, and we undo that one, just there. Does that just slide under it? No, it doesn't. So we take that right out, completely. There you go, it just slides underneath. So that's our green and yellow. 
coming from our input. So when we come in, get our fridge back, that's where it goes onto our green and yellow. There's our green and yellow. And there is our contact just there. All right, so next we have our brown. And that, again, is screwed underneath there. So if we get our screwdriver, Onto our brown connector. And that wire should just pull out. I'm pulling the wrong one. There we go. There's our brown and our green and yellow. So we have one left, which is our blue. And if we trace that one, it goes just underneath the other blue. So we undo that one. Oh, mate. happened there hold on people okay there it is green brown and yellow remember make sure your plug is out okay and they just connect back to your green and yellow your brown and your blue these are fitted to the fridge, so you won't have to do anything with that. So, we'll just chuck that back in the cupboard. And that's it, till we get our new fridge and we've got to connect it up. Now, on this side here that I was telling you that came off there, you will see, it's got like a little diagram, how to get it off. And I just <laughs> ripped it off. I ain't gonna tell you that like, cause it was just getting on my nerves. Right, but, yeah, let's stick it back on, it just slides on. Okay, and that's about it for now. Our fridge is out, so we're gonna have a little clean out inside there, clean off the cupboard doors and that sort of thing, and get ready for our new fridge. So, till next time from Trades People's Tips, take care of yourself and see you later. And if you're out there robbing people, stop doing it. See you later, people.